A family from New Jersey is now depending on the kindness of strangers after their medical insurance company ended its coverage of a vital treatment. Action News reporter Trish Hartman has more on how a local man with ALS is fighting just to get the medical care that he needs. This is the machine that keeps 66-year-old Joe Swider alive. Joe has ALS, a progressive disease that affects the nervous system. Still, he says he has a lot to live for. We have four, two boys, two girls. 11 grandkids in, what, 12 years? Joe is paralyzed from the neck down and needs the ventilator. A home nurse cares for Joe 16 hours a day, seven days a week. The care costs more than $4,000 a week, and it used to be paid by Joe's insurance through the local plumbers union. They call it 100% retiree medical. And what that means is you're, you're guaranteed your medical coverage for the rest of your life. But last year, the union changed insurance plans. The Swiders got a notice stating their coverage wouldn't change. Still, Joe's wife, Donna, made phone calls and attended an info session about the new plan. She said, I'm just verifying that we still have the same nursing coverage. And he goes, no, there is no nursing coverage. It was a bombshell. I was not expecting that at all, not after making those initial phone calls. The Swiders took their case all the way to federal court. Donna says while the judge was sympathetic, he says no laws were broken. We reached out to the attorney for the union, but so far we haven't received a response. The Swiders, meantime, are now paying for nursing care out of pocket. Donations from a GoFundMe page are helping, but once the money runs out, Joe says he'll go into hospice and let nature take its course. Our story's not over yet. But this is out of our hands, and I don't know how it's going to end. That GoFundMe page has raised over $40,000 in a month, and Donna says many of the donations have come from complete strangers. If you would like to donate, you can find a link at 6abc.com. Reporting in Atco, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6 Action News.